What's your favorite Scorsese is an unbelievable director story? So when we were shooting Wolf of Wall Street, uh, the scene I auditioned with, the first scene I auditioned with was Donnie's intro scene where he goes up to Leo at the diner and says like, is, yeah. how much money do you make and all that stuff and I wanna work for you, you know? And uh, so not only had I been preparing for that like a year earlier for the audition for two months, then we rehearsed for months, then it was like halfway through the shoot, which was a seven month shoot. So I had been preparing for this scene forever, for almost a year, You're basically. Doing it in the shower? I literally had, I was like, I know how to do this scene. Yeah. So um, that day, all we were shooting in the diner was that scene, and then the scene after where I call and quit, and Leo's doing voiceover, saying like, this guy was really weird, you know, like, whatever, you know? And so we get there, we shoot the intro scene, and it goes, we do like a few takes, and Scorsese's happy, and, and he's like, you know, cool, moving on, right? I'm so relieved. Yeah. Like all I'd been thinking about this scene was this scene. I'm so relieved. Then we have to shoot the scene that's not even really scripted. It's just literally like I quit. Yeah, and I'm talking to my brother-in-law quitting my job. It's like one or two lines. And I start doing it. And we do it again. We do it again. We do it again. We end up doing it like 20 times. Ugh. And he's not saying anything to me and Leo's looking like looking away, kind of like uncomfortable, you know? Because it's like, what, well, he, he doesn't understand before, right? either. Well, yeah. He doesn't understand either. It's like, he's just like, well, some, obviously we know something's not working because or else we would have moved on ages ago, right? And so finally I'm like, we take, like I walk around, get a cup of water, and his assistant, who's a friend of mine, comes, you know, comes up and like, are you okay? Are you all right? And then I'm like sweating. It's a disaster because I'm like, if she notices, yeah. she's at the monitors, oh my God, like, I must, he must be not happy with what I'm doing, right? And so we do it like 10 more times, nothing. I'm freaking, so you I'm like freaking, times and I'm freaking out, yeah, I'm yeah. Like freaking out. Like, and he's like, all right, everyone, let's like take a break, and, and everyone leaves. And he's like, kid, come here, come sit with me. And we, we go to the monitors, and we sit, and for about 20 minutes, he just reads the newspaper, and I just sit and stare at the wall, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on, you know? <laughs> and um, after like 20 minutes, you know, after like five or seven minutes of sitting in silence with him, I just like start to naturally relax, you know? Like I'm just kind of chilling out a bit. I'm not in my, I'm just like, okay, you know, like chilling. And then after like 20 minutes, he's like, kid, you want to try it again? I was like, yeah, everyone comes back in. We do it two times. He's like, that was great, let's go. And wow, he was so happy. Wow, so Jedi mind trick relaxed you. He's just... He is such a genius on so many levels that it, it, it is inexplainable, basically, you know? But he had to, like, get me out of my own head. He had to... I was doing something where, wrong, and... You were probably too urgent. I don't know what yeah, it was, something. but he just was, like, basically his way of getting me to get out of my head and chill out. You know? I had high hopes for that question, but you exceeded those hopes. Thanks, Bill. That was I a really that. good story. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll remember I mean, it the rest of my life.